Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're going to do the broomstick lace without the broom. So playing with the broom or a thick uh, knitting needle to make the stitch is quite not a good time. So you can actually do this stitch without that, but you just need to practice. So the first time I did it, holy cow, was I squeaking. I was so tight. You can barely see the underside being picked up to come up under here. So then I tried again. So here's my second sample. And again, I was still a little bit tight and you can see that I need to practice more because sometimes I'm not consistent. And then finally I did it a third time that you see here. So we're gonna get started on this. The multiples to do this stitch is five, five plus three. So five, 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 add three at the end of your chain and you're good to go. Let's begin the stitch. So you may wanna use a larger hook to make it more lacy. You can decide what's right for you. I'm using Karen one pound today with a six millimeter size J. So I want to chain a multiples of five plus three. So one, two, three, four, five. Big enough, yes or no. If not, continue. One, two, three, four, five. Big enough, yes or no. Keep on going. So one, two, three, four, and five. Once you're happy with the width of this, if you want to measure it against something, just add three more and you will have the proper balance in order to make this work. Let's do our first row by going second chain from the hook and we are going to single crochet across the chain all the way back to the other side. So please do that and put me on pause now. Coming back to the other side, go right to the end, turn your work and let's begin. We are going to start the broomstick right now. So let's begin a fresh row. They're always gonna start with a chain three. See the height of this chain three? You wanna maintain this height from this bar all the way down to the row. To do the next five stitches, you're going to concentrate one, two, three, four, five. This will be your broomstick. So you're going to yarn over, sorry. So you're going to just immediately go into the next stitch, noticing I did not yarn over, and I wanna pull it through and keep pulling it until it can match the height of the original. That's one of five. I'm gonna to go to the next one. See how it's just kind of looped there? You don't wanna change the height of that. So when you go pull through, you're going to pull and you're gonna to continue to pull until you can get to the same height again. And you wanna do all five just like that. So I tend to want to wrap the hook, but you don't want to. So just kind of pull. And if you wanna put your finger in behind and pinch the existing one right here, it prevents it from being sucked in to change the heights. Keep all the stitches in order, just so you know. So that was three. So if you go into the next one and you pull through, and if you wanna pinch the last one you just did, it will only suck the material in from the yarn ball. And finally, the fifth one is in and pinch and pull up. So you want it to be pretty close to the same height as the original. Once you have this done, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five only. Don't pull through the original. Now you're gonna yarn over and pull through the final two. This is considered one of five. The other four are going to be going through the group here. So go right into the center Okay, so you, you, can, you won't see the hook on the back and you're going to single crochet a total of four times. So we have one, two, three, and four. And this gives you the number five on how we started it and then those four single crochets those are the five stitches that are on top, and now you can see the broomstick lace has happened. Let's do it again. So over the next five, see the height of this? You need to see how it's coming down like this. If you don't give yourself slack right here, this is where you're gonna screw up. So give yourself some slack just to build the height up a little bit because you will not be able to change that once you get moving on this thing. Go into the, your next stitch and pull through and match the height of that first one. This is why it requires some practice. Go into the next one. You want to grab this and do this five times. So I'm pinching the existing so that I don't suck that one down in. So I'm only grabbing yarn from the yarn ball. So that was two. Three. 
three. Try not changing the order. It will happen, you'll get used to it because I'm on camera and I'm doing this slower than I want to. I'm probably screwing it up. So I'm gonna do it again. And pinch and pull up. And then the fifth one is one more time. So it's always in groups of five. Once you have the five, you're gonna pull through everything but the first loop. And now you're gonna yarn over and pull through the final two and that's considered one of five. So now we have to put four single crochets in there. So just slide the hook in behind, the first waves up and single crochet four times. So we have one, two, three, and four. So this is considered one, two, three, four, five. Let's do it again. So then over the next five, pull up a loop first. If you don't do it, you'll hurt yourself later. <laughs> so go into the first one and pull through and match the height. Come into the next one, going in, I'm just gonna pinch. I'm only pulling from the ball. So that was two, three, four, and the fifth one here. Pull through everything but the final, and then pull through the final two, and that's considered one of five, and then single crochet in the center. So one, two, three, and four. If you're coming up to the edge like I am, you'll have one stitch left over, just double crochet in there. And that will complete a row, just like that. So now you're gonna turn your work and begin the next row. So where you stick your hook matters, see how it, there's a strand here that appears out of sync? Leave it, I made the mistake of playing with that. So you're going to chain up one and you're going to single crochet in the first double that you did. Remember, everything is in sets of five. So as you go over, you start with the first one. If you want to count it, you can go one, two, three, four. And you see, this is the one that we pulled to make it longer. Just go right here. Ignore this one that's standing out of the way. So just go right there. So that's your fifth. So do the next five. So one, two, three, four, and again, just right there, five, and continue to do this all the way back to the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, and then you have the top of the first double crochet that you worked with. Okay, and that was the chain, so just go into the chain work. And now you can turn your work, and you can see how cool this looks. I'll take you through one more row of just doing the broomstick. To do the broomstick again, you chain three, that's your first double crochet, and that is the height that you wanna maintain. Over the next five, just going in and pulling it through to the height. So once, twice, three times, four times, and five times. Don't be scared to wiggle it. Pull through all five of those without pulling through the first one, and then pull through the final two, and that's considered one of five, and now you'll put in four single crochets in there. So we have one, two, three, and four. So the height that you're pulling up, it can be very um, different. So if, if you pull up even more, you'll have more of a sweeping motion. And so then just to start again, start in the next one. So pull on up and keep pulling up and just get used to the motion of this. So this is my fourth time going through this stitch in the last 24 hours. So I've gotten used to the stitch, pull through everything 
but the final one, pull through the two, and that's considered one of five. So that then single crochet four times. So that was one, two, three, and four. Okay, and that's what you wanna do. So you wanna do that right to the edge. You'll double crochet your final, turn your work, and then you do that single crochet row back. Make sure the single crochet row is the last stitch that you will do. So if it's a blanket or a shawl or a wrap or whatever you wanna do, make sure that the single crochet row is going to finish it. And then you can always slam an equally um, spaced border around the whole thing if you'd like to. This is the broomstick lace without the broom.